Two balls and a strike to count on Taylor. Reyes fires. Swing and a drive. Deep left field. It's his way back. Walk the ball. What's up, everybody? Welcome into Dodger Heads, presented by DodgerBlue.com, part of the Blue Wire Podcast Network. My name is Jeff Spiegel, joined today by DodgerBlue.com, Scott Gearman. And Scott, the Dodgers have started to make some moves. Uh, free agency has not officially started, but team options, player options, those types of things are up. And Dodger fans, I'm going to tell you, if you haven't seen this news yet, you might want to sit down because the headline of this one is that Hanser Alberto had his option declined, one of the fan favorites, a clubhouse favorite. Danny Duffy, Jimmy Nelson also declined. Luke Williams was claimed off waivers from the Marlins. But to me, Scott, Alberto is the headliner here. Uh, You, Matt, and I did a free agency preview, and you and Matt both expected this option to be picked up. I'll take a small victory lap and say that I predicted that this would not be picked up. But talk me through sort of your reaction when you heard that Alberto's $2 million club option was declined. Kind of surprising, considering prior to him signing with the Dodgers, he was brought in to do a, a certain job, and he was just a very low strikeout guy. Thought he could be more a veteran bat to the bench to come in and provide, you know, really good at bat quality, and he didn't do that much. He became more of just a very big uh, morale guy, and I for the two million, it was, it was we all said, you know, Matt and I said, you know, not our money, give it to him. But if you want to look at performance standpoint, absolutely, it made sense to decline that option. Um, yeah, it's just it's it's, it's a different thing, right? A couple of different yeah. couple of different options declined. Yeah, yeah, and with Alberto, I mean, I said it was like a two sixty on base percentage, and and when you're a team like the Dodgers, you don't have twenty six man roster spots available to just burn on a guy that you like sitting on the bench that brings some clubhouse morale. Like you need all of those spots to be guys that are going to contribute and even 40 man roster spots. And I think that explains kind of the rest of these moves. Danny Duffy had a huge option. We all expected to be declined. It was Jimmy Nelson was just a $1.1 million club option. That was also declined. Um, I I think you and I are probably on the same page. We both would expect Duffy and Nelson to be back on like a minor league type deal, a camp invite potentially, I imagine. Right. I mean, that's where I'm at, Scott. Do you agree with that? Fully agree. One last thing on on hands Roberto real fast is that, uh, it's kind of a problem. Just like you said, there's a roster crunch, but when yeah. you get to playoff time and you're like, Oh, he didn't make the roster. I hopefully he can be in the dugout still there. That yeah. just kind of that you would, you'd hopefully that guy could be on the field and not just, you know, like hopefully he could be on the bench, yeah. but yeah, we absolutely. Danny Duffy, Jimmy Nelson, they've put work in on both of these, on both of these guys, Danny Duffy, I feel is more ready because there was more promise there and then they had to slow his development. But Jimmy Nelson had a series of surgeries all at yeah. one time. So, you know, I spoke with Blake about this um, and he believes that, you know, his arm might be just way more cooked than we thought. Like it might right. be just a little bit more work to do there. Yeah. Yeah. The last move, Luke Williams claimed off of waivers from the Marlins. I know everybody here, big Luke Williams fans over here. No, I'm just kidding. Most people don't know who Luke Williams is. Played with the Marlins, played with the Giants. Um, When I go on DodgerBlue.com and read kind of the write-up that we put up about him, I think this was the most significant thing. The 26-year-old has played first base, second base, third base, shortstop, left field, center field, and right field in his career. So if you're keeping track at home, that's every position on the diamond except for pitcher and catcher. And that's what the Dodgers are clearly interested in. This doesn't mean anything. It doesn't mean he's going to be on the 40-man roster once the season begins, but he does have a couple minor league options. So, I mean, when you look up and dig in a little bit on Luke Williams, anything jump out at you? Or are you sort of like, if the Marlins release this guy, why are we claiming him? Yeah, I mean, uh, just a former third round pick, Philadelphia Phillies. He's, you know, not, not bounced around, but he's been with a couple of different organizations with the Giants last year, uh, utility man, just an upside play. I, I think that it's someone they Dodgers see if they can find something. He can play a few different spots. Dodgers love to have versatile players in their organization, and he's had big league time. And with the options, it, it won't hurt to have some you know depth at the top end of their minor leagues. And I think it'll be you know pretty solid ad if he sticks around. It won't be the worst, but he's at least played and stuck around at the big league level last year for somewhere around I think like eighty games in twenty twenty two. Yeah, and after these moves, it gives the Dodgers 34 guys on their 40-man roster. Of course, Justin Turner is the final sort of club option left to decide. Um, of course, they've got qualifying offers and stuff. So a bunch of guys are free agents, but the Dodgers currently have six open spots on their 40-man roster. And, and the reason I bring that up is because the an organization like the Dodgers is going to maximize or at least try to maximize every single one of those spots. They've yeah. got guys they're going to need to protect from the Rule 5 draft. And so the 40-man roster isn't really 
for the Dodgers somewhere where you could, ah, why not just take a shot on Luke Williams? Like, if this guy isn't going to make it, they're not going to waste a 40-man roster spot on a guy who's going to be in the minor leagues for the next two years who's bounced around. So bring him in. You've got the spots available now. Maybe you get some eyes on him. Maybe you sure. sort of tweak, think you can tweak some things and, and unlock something as well as being sort of the versatility guy. You know, I'm not saying he's replacing Hanter Alberto, but look, Alberto had a 260 on base percentage last year. So if this guy can play all the same positions plus the outfield and give you an on-base percentage of closer to 300, then... It's a cheaper version of Hanser Alberto already found replaced uh, replaced on waivers here. Yeah, absolutely. And we have to remember last year we had guys like Eddie Alvarez playing, yep. you know, not everyday roles, but I think I was one of his, I, I, man, I couldn't stand Eddie Alvarez. Not because of him. It's just that in that lineup, you're putting out a guy who has like a sub 60 wins runs created plus for his career. So it's just, it felt like, oh man, let's, you know, let's have some more darts to throw at the board. Yeah. And I, yeah. I, I, I'm, I'm, I hopefully... I know Andrew Friedman will have a lot of faith in him and he's bringing in guys that, you know, will have a much higher ceiling and in in like a higher floor than, you know, bats like Eddie Alvarez or players like that. I'd like, I'd yeah. like him to, you know, bolster that top end, not make it. So the disparity is so large. I'd like it to be more towards, you know, lined up towards the center. And I think that's what he's doing. Yeah. Yeah. I think the, the high, the high floor is what you're shooting for. Alvarez, interestingly enough, also claimed off waivers from the Marlins last year. So maybe that's bad juju. I don't know, but that's well, Scott Gearman. My name is Jeff Spiegel. As always, we appreciate you joining us here on Dodger heads. Give us your thoughts. You bummed about Hanser being gone. $2 million club option declined. Danny Duffy, Jimmy Nelson also declined. Luke Williams claimed off waivers from the Marlins. We appreciate you joining us. Enjoy the rest of your day. Of course, as always go Dodgers.